Hey guys, it's meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather on this morning update here. Similar bullet points to yesterday with a fast northwest flow across the west favoring the northern tier of the Rockies for now. High pressure ridge off the west coast forcing that jet up into Canada and then running north-south down through the northern Rockies. Pattern's going to shift. It's going to take all that action and energy and then move it south through um, the central Rockies and then all the way into the southern Rockies, including California, on or after 128. So the whole pattern will be dropping south. In the northeast, still looking at another one to maybe two storm systems in the forecast. Let me show you the current setup here. So this is water vapor this morning, and oranges and reds represent your drier air aloft. Let me mark the, the bigger feature. So there's a big area of low pressure, kind of like right in here, sort of driving everything. And let me just draw the pattern. Everything's kind of dropping through here, running way up into Canada, and then you've got that northwest flow cutting down. So you've got these fast moving disturbances kind of racing down over the top of the jet through the northern Rockies um, with most of the energy hanging back here in the trough. So what's going to happen is this high pressure ridge, it's not huge, but what will happen is it will retrograde, move back out into the Pacific, and that will pull this entire area down and to the south. And that's what will become the stormy pattern for the west on or after 128, somewhere in that range, all the way into the 1st of February. All right, let me just uh, show you, in fact, I can tell you that the um, when we look for atmospheric river type ingredients, and this is the forecast for off the coastline of basically north central California, San Francisco area, you can see by the time we get into the late, um, the late days of um, of uh, January into early February. The first week of February is much more active with weak to maybe even a moderate type river, atmospheric river set up for um, California. And again, this is just more proof that the pattern will be shifting south and becoming much more conducive to the west uh, on or after 128. Um, let me show you what the jet is going to look like. Um, here it is by 2-2. Uh, and notice at this point, um, there's a big trough over the Central Pacific, and we're just waiting on that energy to move into the interior, um, into the interior west. Um, so a lot of the action that was there, 120, 129, 30, 31, and 1, is moving just east of the Rockies at this point. So we're just kind of waiting on the pattern to reload on the second. We may be in for a drier period come 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5 through the interior west, waiting on the next big trough to move in off the Pacific. So we'll go from stormy 128 through about 2-1, and then potentially a little drier pocket there afterwards, and then maybe stormy after that again. Let me show you what the future um, or the forecast radar and satellite looks like with this. All right, so here is Wednesday morning at 6, flow coming down on the, that fast northwest flow continues to deliver snow in little waves. Here's Friday, 127. And here comes the whole pattern dropping south, 128. You can see it happening. There's 129, and there's one late on 129. You've got snow through the Sierra, snow into Utah, snow into Idaho, Wyoming, and moving its way into Colorado on 120. 128, 129, into 130, 131, probably into 2-1. And then again, a lot of this would slide east of the Rockies after 2-1. All right, let's talk snow numbers here. Um, so we'll go with uh, phase one here. Uh, so this is all of today through the 26. Very light numbers on that fast northwest flow, 1 to 7 inches for most places. Some of the bigger numbers are in the northern mountains of Colorado. Again, that's through 126. Here is the second period. Uh, we're dealing with uh, 127 through 22. Most of this falls 127 through 21. But you can see the bigger numbers in Colorado. I'm liking what I see there. As again, all of that energy translates south with the jet. Um, should line up nicely to deliver a couple of feet for the Wasatch, a couple of feet for the Tetons. Good numbers for Big Sky as well. And in California, we're looking at one to two feet from Tahoe down to Mammoth, less at Shasta. All right, let's talk about a specialty map here. This is Colorado. I've been showing this the last few days. Grand total map 124 all of today through the second. So about a foot along I-70, but a couple of feet for the northern mountains up Longs, Cameron, Buff, Buff Pass to Steamboat. 
So you're kind of getting a couple of things. You're, you're getting the fast northwest flow, benefiting from that, and then, of course, the whole transition and the, and the pattern, 128 and after. So it's a little higher for the northern mountains. All right, let's look at the northeast. So 125, 126 is the next large storm system to come through, and that's where the bulk of this snow accumulation originates, 125, 126. Um, about a foot and then there's another period another storm possible towards the end of the period um, which could deliver some additional snow maybe even a, an Alberta clipper as well rolling through but uh, you can see the numbers through 2-2 all right guys thanks for tuning in here on this morning update always appreciate it have a great day